There she is, Debbie Poach, professor of mathematics at uh, County College of Morris. How are yes. you doing? Great, thank you. We're here to talk about the fact that uh, not enough women are entering the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math, otherwise known as? STEM. STEM, I like that. Um, Debbie, let me ask you something. I'm curious about this. First of all, why are women not entering these fields at higher rates? What's up with that? Is there some sort of barrier? Yeah, um, really it's a stereotypical barrier. You know, growing up, girls are not often pushed into those fields. Um, you know, especially historically, engineers were always typically men. Girls were kind of pushed more into nursing or education, which are right. wonderful fields. We need people in there as well. But we're finding that girls, you know, they can perform in the maths and the sciences. They do perform in the maths and the sciences. When given the opportunity. Absolutely. And sometimes it's a matter of just being said, just being asked, you know, why Women don't you? Just being asked. Just being asked. Why don't you consider going into this field? Because maybe they never thought of it because they, again, always thought, well, that's a man's job. Right. You know, men go into that field. So you've got girls in high school taking calculus, taking the, you know, physics, all these courses that are not using them as careers. And maybe it just takes a high school guidance counselor to say, how about you consider a field of, you know, entering engineering? Particularly if a young woman has done well in that area. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting, at County College of Morris, you're actually doing something about it. You recently got a grant from? The AAUW, the American Association of University Women. To do what? To try to att attract and retain women into the STEM fields. How? Well, it's about um, reaching out to our own students, um, identifying high-performing students that maybe have declared liberal arts majors, sure. you know, a lot of them aren't sure what they want to do, and just saying, hey, you know what, you have a real aptitude in this area. How about you give it a shot? You know, how about you come work with us and see, you know, take an engineering class, take a math class, take a, you know, physics class, and see where you can go with that. Um, we're also reaching out to area high schools and trying to attract the girls before they leave and again telling them look you know you're taking calculus you're taking physics you're taking chemistry biology you're doing well in it let's think of a career in this and so your institution is actively engaged in doing that mm -hmm. through this grant why by the way why would that american association of university women women do that because they're very involved in just promoting everything that can um, help women be more successful and in the STEM fields, mm. women who um, have a STEM career earn 33% more than women in a non-STEM field. Whoa, 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 back up. 30, on average. On average. A woman who enters a field related to science, technology, engineering, and math will earn 33% more annually than, a than, woman if, who, than what? Than any other career that's non-STEM non related. Wow. Yeah. And in fact, the, um, there's still a gender imbalance in terms of salary, even in the STEM fields, but it's much smaller. But the other thing I was thinking, I was just saying this to Jacqueline Heyer, our producer, I, I, right before we got on, I said, so like, what's the difference? I mean, I mean, it would be great, first of all, that they would earn more mm -hmm. um, because it helps the economy and it helps their family. But then I thought, what is the difference in terms of the field itself contributing to the success of the field whether in fact it is more diverse. I actually don't know the difference. Just like when we're talking nursing, we want to get more men in the field mm -hmm. of nursing. I thought, well, what difference does it make in terms of the effectiveness of the field of nursing? Same question. What difference does it make? Well, the difference is if, okay, so engineers are mostly men. So they think a certain way, they work a certain way. Women come in, we bring different, um, modes of operation to the table. Is your brain Diversity. wired differently? Brain are wired Do you really believe that? I do. That um, women's, brains are wired differently, think about problems, solving problems, differently than men. Yep. Which means what in terms of the field itself? In terms of the field itself, women um, often will more group work, more cooperative, you know, problem solving, whereas men, sometimes a little bit more competitive, um, want to do things a certain way on their own. Women bring a more diversity to the table. For example, because men, um, predominantly the engineers, voice recognition systems. Right. Okay. Designed by men the earliest voice recognition systems did not recognize women's voices. Really? Because they were calibrated to men's voices. Same thing with airbags. The first airbags designed man's wow. body. They weren't thinking about women and children. So women and children were killed in accidents that My were avoidable. God. So the quality of the products being produced 
will ultimately be better when there are more women in the field. Exactly. For everybody. Because you're bringing a different mindset to the table. Obviously, why you need more women in the field of broadcasting, yeah. more women in producing. <laughs> no, seriously. Yes. Last question. I'm curious about this. How'd you get into this whole thing? Into? The whole field of science, technology, engineering, and math. Why do you even care why about it? Why do this? I even care about it? I, growing up, I was fortunate enough to have teachers that said, you are good at oh, this. Oh, you were encouraged. I was encouraged. I, and my father's, my father's a biochemist, so he encouraged <laughs> us, you know. Um, but in, in school, my favorite math teacher happened to be a woman, and she was like, you know, you've got it go for it kind of thing, you know, and that really, oh, you know, I can, I am just as good as the How boys sitting in the classroom. that to you? It meant a Having lot. Having that role model. It really did mentor. mean a lot. That one day when I was like, wow, she does think I'm smart, you know, and she thinks I can do this just as well as any of the boys well, in the room. But before I let you out here, what does that say about the importance of that teacher? If, if I could tell her now, I mean, I wish I did then, you know, being a whatever, 18 year old, I didn't think to reach out and tell her how much she meant to me. But now, I mean, she changed my life. You know, she made me- She changed your life. She made me consider a career that wasn't even in my, you know, in the forefront. I was, thought I would be a teacher, but never thought I would be a math teacher, math professor. Well, Debbie Poach, professor of mathematics at County College of Morris, that teacher did that for you, and I have a feeling that you continually do it for other young women and young men every day. So I wanna thank you very much for the work you thank do. Thank you. Great stuff. Thanks. Thank you.